what's poppin y'all so it's two sides to this video because of course this is a story that definitely have two sides but anyways i'm gonna be brief in the first one so i i was doing which was back at this time it was my mother-in-law so the guy I was dating i was doing his mom's hair and i was having a conversation with her you know about her grandkids or whatever and this is the same guy that I explained to y'all in the other video that you know, one of his baby mamas had seen me in the store and thanked me because she could tell that the only reason he was being in his daughter's life at this point was because I was pushing him to. So I'm doing his mother's hair, right? And I'm doing her sewing and I'm doing her hair, whatever. And we talking and we talking about a lot of different stuff or whatever. So we get to a point in the conversation where we start talking about her, her and her son and the grandkids. So I pointed out to her and I asked her before we started the conversation, like, is she going to be offended if I just keep it real because I'm one of them people like... I got a side to me where I can just keep it cordial or I can let you know how what I really think and what I really feel. And she gave me the okay. All right. So we conversating about the kids or whatever. And I told her, I'm like, I noticed that a few of y'all, you know, your grandkids, y'all treat a little bit different than the other kids, right? So I was explaining to her about the two particular grandkids that I see her do the most for. She get them. She always buy them stuff for Christmas, like all this stuff, right? So then we started talking about the little girl whose mom had thanked me in the grocery store. And I told her, it seemed like, you know, I was telling his mom, it seemed like y'all acted a little funny, you know, when it comes to this particular little girl. And she was like, yeah, you don't know the story behind that. But anyways, I just don't think that's my grandchild. So mind you, I'm dating your son. So me and him got had a conversation about all of this, right? So I'm explaining to her, well, from my understanding, like, that's your grandbaby. Like... Because she was making, you know, insinuations that that ain't her grandchild. Like the other one, she know for sure it's her grandkids. But this one, it's a question mark over the, over the child head, so to speak. So I'm like, well, your son had a DNA test. Like the test showed that it was 99.9% .9 his baby. And the girl got a child support case, which is the reason why your son owed child support for that child. Because he's already been DNA tested. It's already been confirmed through DNA that that is your grandbaby. That ain't my motherfucking grandbaby. I can't stand the girl and blah, blah, blah. And so she going on and on and she explained to me her reasons why that ain't her grandbaby. So I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, your son had a DNA test. That's your grandbaby. So every time I say that, she know it ain't. No, it these, she talk about the other two and the, the other ones. And these my grandbabies and this is why I do. Lady, I ain't even going to call you by your name at this point. Because you acting retarded. Lady, that's your grandbaby. DNA don't lie. So she got a real attitude and stuff. So listen, bitch. Let me tell you something. You lucky you paying out your pocket. Because if this was one of them situations where I was doing my boyfriend mama house for free, I wouldn't even finish your motherfucking head. But because I like money and it's $100, I'm finna finish your hair and I'm going to do a good ass job. But we can just stop talking right here because this is an ignorant ass conversation. You ain't finna be, lady, listen, I asked your ass, was it okay for me to be up front and blunt with you? Part of the reason why your motherfucking son act the way he act and ain't taking care of his kids like he's supposed to is from the teachings from your ass. And the fact that you got the audacity to sit here and run your mouth about how this grandbaby is less of a grandbaby than these when all the motherfuckers got the same paternal DNA. This is why he owe child support for all these motherfuckers. Because they all been tested and these your motherfucking grandkids. All they motherfucking ass. Whether you like their mamas or not. Now if it was a case where y'all hadn't found out yet. And the girl was just saying that this was your son baby. I can see you having doubts. I don't know the full situation. You right. But bitch that's your grandbaby. Turn your motherfucking head around. 